The Angular testbed is a higher level Angular only testing framework that allows us to easily test behaviors that depend on the Angular framework. Now we still write our tests in Jasmine and we still run using Karma, but we now have a slightly easier way to create components, handle injection, test asynchronous behavior, and interact with our application. In this lecture, we're going to have a quick introduction to the Angular testbed, and we will continue to use it for the rest of this section. By the end of this lecture, you're going to know what the Angular testbed is and how to use it. And you're also going to know when to use the Angular testbed versus when to run via plain vanilla Jasmine tests. So let's demonstrate how to use the Angular testbed by converting the component, the logging component we tested with plain vanilla Jasmine to one that uses the Angular testbed. So this is now our test spec file for the login component. Now, as well as importing the login component and auth service, we're also importing something called a testbed and component fixture from the Angular core testing module. And then in the before each function for our test suite, we configure a testing module using the testbed class. This creates a test Angular module, which we can use to instantiate components, perform dependency injection, and so on. And we configure this testing module in exactly the same way as we would configure a normal NG module. So in this example, we're declaring, we're adding our logging component to our module declarations, and we're also providing the auth service on our NG module providers. So once the ATB is set up, we can then use it to instantiate components and resolve dependencies. So we first create a fixture by calling testbed.createComponent and then passing in the type, the class of the component that we want to create. And a fixture is a wrapper for a component and its template. So then to get the actual component from the fixture, we then call fixture.component instance. And just another quick note, by creating the component through the testbed, it automatically injects the auth service into the component constructor. So then to get the same instance of auth service that was injected into the component, we ask the testbed to resolve the dependency using the testbed injector by using the get function. Like so. so now we have an instance of the auth service, the same auth service that is injected into the login component constructor. And, and that's really it for now. Now we've configured the testbed and extracted the component and service, we can run through the same test specs as we had in the previous lecture. So I literally can just copy and paste the same test specs underneath here. So it can Oh, this needs login again. So needs login returns false when the user is not authenticated. We then just use a spy on the auth service to get it to return false. I then have got an instance of component from the fixture and I can just call needs login and, and add a matcher. And then we can add a expectation on whether or not the is authenticated function has been called. And I might as well add the second test spec underneath as well. And that's it. So now we can run our test. And it runs as we expect it to run. But this time we're now using the angular test bed, instead of just creating instances manually using pure JavaScript. Now we're going to continue to use the ATB, the Angular testbed, for the rest of this section. And that's because it allows us to test the interaction of a directive or component with its template. It also allows us to easily test change detection and property binding 
in a components view. It also allows us to test and use Angular's dependency injection framework. And we can also use it to test the ng module configuration we're actually going to use in our application. And it also allows us to test user interaction via clicks and input fields. Now, it's not a complete replacement to a full end-to-end -end test, but as you'll see with a few lectures later on in this section, you can do some pretty decent interaction through the template just by using the Angular testbed. So to summarize, the Angular testbed is a test Angular module and lets us test parts of our Angular application as if it was being run in the context of a real running Angular app. And its usefulness will become more apparent in future lectures, the next one being how to use the Angular testbed to test change detection and property binding.